Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, Gerardo. Oscar. Hello. Hello, Henry. Hello, hello teacher. Hello. hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Hector. I know Hector will be as a listener tonight. That's all right. Okay, hope everything's all right. And uh, well, we're gonna wait a little bit for the rest of the of the students. Vamos a esperar un momento para que todos se puedan unir y pasar la oh, pasar la lista, verdad? No sé si ustedes se recuerdan que tenían este eh, la, una actividad pendiente. No sé si alguien quiere compartirla. Yo les dije que si si querían se conectaban antes y y lo compartían. Y pues este es el momento. <ríe> y si no, pues esperamos un par de minutitos para mientras los demás se conectan y le damos comienzo a la clase de esta noche. Ok. Hagan un repaso por ahí que ya vamos a empezar, especialmente si tienen pendiente la, las actividades de la, de la plataforma, pues ahorita es tiempo de que, de que pues ha, hagan algo que tengan pendiente. Tenemos un par de minutos. Ok, let me see. Uh, Héctor says. Ok, Héctor. Sí, Héctor. De hecho, pues, ya me habían comunicado que iba a ser difícil para usted estar este, al 100%, pero le agradezco, Héctor, que nos lo haga saber. Eh, I can see Norma, I can see Vidal, I can see Vera Liz. I have eight people. Ok. Uh, good evening, Veralis. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. I can see Henry over here. And well, we're, we're, we're going to wait a little bit. We're going to wait a little bit. I can see Salim over here. Sarlene got into the class. Okay. Hello, Sarlene. Hello, teacher. Okay, good evening. Good to see you over here. I hope you are having a great time. I hope you have prepared your, your cup of coffee. <laughs> I hope you already took a, a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can see Maria. Very good. Now, I will check the list of attendances because I will get ready with the list of attendances. Then if you're present, just let me know. I can see that. Well, good evening. Can... Hello, good evening. Good evening, Jonathan. Good to see you in the class. Good to see you too. Sure. Okay. Glad. I'm really glad to see everybody over here. Now, I will check the list of attendances. You know, that's the first step I, I usually do. Uh, at night, right before before um before getting into the into the class itself, uh, I don't know. Adam is Adam over here. Okay. Alison, Andrea, Raquel, Camelia de Los Angeles. Uh, no. Dina Maribel, Gerardo Emanuel, Hi. Hi. Gilberto Antonio, Gilberto Antonio, Gladys Rubiria, present, okay, Héctor Salvador is over here, Henry Ernesto, okay, all right, Isabel Sarlim, present, uh, Jonathan Josué. Present teacher. All right. Mayra Norabel. Maria Elba. Present teacher. Maricela de Jesús. Miguel Ángel. Norma Xiomara. Hi, teacher. Norma is there. Very good. Good evening. Oscar Josue. 
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Rodan? Rodan is not here yet. Salvador Santiago? Vera Liz? I'm here. Hello? Vidal Antonio? I saw Vidal. I think Vidal is over here. Yes. Yeah, very good. And I have Claudia Veronica. Claudia is not here yet. Yeah. Okay, Claudia is over here. Very good. Fantastic. Now, can you listen to me clearly, people? Can you listen to me? ¿Se me escucha claramente? Sí. Ah, perfecto. Yes. yes. Okay. That's yes. fantastic. Okay. So, welcome back. Bienvenidos de nuevo. Espero que hayan eh, tenido un excelente día. Y también espero que estén siempre con todos los ánimos del mundo para hacer lo mejor que puedan acá, ¿verdad? Eh, espero que también tengan su tacita de café, que hayan tomado un baño refrescante para que pues eh, nos mantengamos al 100% hasta las 10. Ok, son people are in the chat. Let me see. Aidan is over here. Maricela and Vidal. Ok, give me one second. Maricela is over here. Vidal also. And Aidan. Ok. Ok. Now, well, eh... I don't know if you got uh, ready. ¿Se acuerdan del challenge que, teni que tuvimos el, el, la semana anterior? Si alguien se dedicó a... Si alguien se dedicó a, a mejorarlo, a, a, no sé si le gustaría tomarse ese minuto, esos cinco minutos para hacer esa actividad. Veamos, ¿quiénes están listos? O si, si se prepararon con eso, levantemos la mano, los que están listos. Veamos, veamos esas manos. Ok, ¿eso quiere decir? Bueno, no tengo ninguna, ninguna mano levantada. Eso quiere decir que, pues lo dejaron quietecito. Y esperan hacer algo mejor esta, esta semana. Esta semana. Recuérdense que esta semana vamos con el Two Minutes, two minutes Conversation. Okay. La semana de la conversación de dos minutos. Bueno, dicho esto, vamos con las actividades entonces de esta, de esta semana. Vamos a empezar con un listening. We're going to start with the listening. Ok, I really like to work uh, the listening at the beginning of the class so that we can get familiarized with the the vocabulary with everything that we have just um uh we have already said to start with the class okay? okay now well i have Okay, now I have okay. this. Uh, can you see the info? Can you say hello, everybody? Can you say hello? Can, can you greet everybody in the class? Yes, sure. Okay, now, can you say hello to everybody? Uh, let me see if you are there. Vidal, can you say hello to everyone? Say something good, okay? Okay, van a, van a saludar a todos los compañeros, okay? Van a decir algo en inglés, okay? Para activarnos, okay? Vamos a activarnos antes de entrar a los ejercicios. Let me see. 
Uh, Aidan, say hello to the group. Adam? Adam, are you there? Hello. Let me say hello to everyone. Necesito que se saluden entre sí, ¿ok? Puedes decir buenas noches. Espero que todos estén bien. Y vamos a comenzar con la clase en inglés, ¿ok? O algo así en inglés. Say, good evening, everyone. I'm really happy to see you in the class. And now we're going to start with it. Good evening. Ok, now good evening. It's all right. Thank you, Vidal. Then, uh, Camelia, say something to the group. Hello. Hello. Enough? Hello? Claudia? Claudia, can you say something? Good evening. Okay, uh, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh, ready and the class English. Okay, ready for starting the English class. Very good. Camelia? Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Gerardo. Hello. Hello. Okay, have Gerardo, Hector. Oh, no, Hector, oh, sorry. Gladys. Gladys, Gladys, are you there? Hello, everyone. Happy start to the Greek. I hope every, everyone is well. Excellent. Very good. Henry? Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Say hello to everyone. Okay, now, uh, well, I think we, we, we can start now, right? So uh, I think we are going to uh, have a, a great night tonight. Hope you are having a great time just right now. Let me see. Somebody's in the chat. Okay. All right, Aidan. I can see that Aidan has some problems right here. Now, well, we're going to start to, to, tonight. We're going to um, start working with some vocabulary, right? Uh, but uh, in order to, to begin with it, we are just going to have a, a previous exercise. And this is a, an exercise where we usually start our class by listening to some audio, right? And this is going to be like another opportunity to um, to start with it, right? So this is actually one of the activities we, we uh, tried to start the last week and it was kind of uh, difficult, right? So uh, do me the favor because, well, tonight we're gonna start, we're going to start talking about some vocabulary now. Hágame el favor de tomar apuntes, porque esto lo van a investigar ahora mismo, ¿ok? Después de este ejercicio, van a investigar qué es un fight, fight, fighter y qué es lo que hace. A professor y qué es lo que hace. El therapist y cuál es la actividad del therapist. Espero que vayan tomando apuntes. Les voy a compartir el, el enlace. Okay, ahí lo tiene. Okay, firefighter, professor, therapist, not software programmer, accountant, manager. Okay, take notes, tomen apuntes. Software programmer, accountant, manager, police officer, truck driver. You already know what a truck driver is, right? Landscaper. Teacher. Travel agent. 
to guide. Then we have says sales associate, secretary, telemarketer, okay, the notes, object taking notes. All right, I can see you working there. Okay, we finally have our electrician, hotel clerk, bus driver. Bus driver. Okay, so we're gonna master transition of the words and we're gonna look for the transition and the meaning of the words and, and also about the activities these people perform. Then we have a host, a dishwasher, and we have a server. Host, dishwasher, and a server. Host, dishwasher, and server. Number nine, taxi driver, taxi driver, Mechanic, sales manager. Okay. I have three more here, right? Number nine, we're still there. Taxi driver, mechanic, and sales manager. Number 10, I think this is the last one. Ticket agent, pilot, flight attendant. Ticket agent, pilot, flight attendant. Okay, let me know, did you finish? Did you finish? Did you finish? Finish, teacher. All right, very good. Now we're gonna go over it. We're gonna we're gonna perform the prayer listening activity. I think there is a prayer listening over here, a common topic of conversation sentences around our work. So you need to be aware of it, right? The some people start a conversation by asking or or providing information about our work. And people often might ask us about our jobs, including a specific details on what we do. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Now, listen to the recording. You will hear uh, you will hear a man talking about a job. Choose the job that goes with the sentence you hear. Then review the script to this listening activity at the bottom of the pitch. That will be at the end, right? So, but we're gonna start now. Okay. Uh, I know this is like the second time we we work over this, right? But in this case, we're gonna go over every single name. Okay, I think you did it last Number time. Number one, right? he really enjoys preparing food at the Italian restaurant. Aha, uh -huh. do you remember? Se recuerda que ya habíamos trabajado en este ejercicio? ¿Cuál era la respuesta de la primera? Who remembers? Now listen again, listen again. Number one, he really enjoys preparing food at the Italian restaurant. Uh huh. Chef. Chef. Ah, uh, what does he do? What does he do? Ah, he really enjoys preparing food at the Italian restaurant. Okay, preparing food in a restaurant. What else? But a chef. Number two.
Number two, my father teaches math at a university in our hometown. All right. Professor. A professor, right? So my father teaches. That is the verb, right? Teaches math at the university in our hometown. That's a professor. Number three. We will go over it a little bit quickly, okay? Number three. I now work downtown at a bank using software programs to manage their financial records. All right, remember, like, we have like, I, I know, I know, I now work downtown as what? That, as an accountant, a manager, or a software programmer? The content. The content. All right. I now work downtown at a bank using software programs to, the, to manage their financial records. That's an content, right? Now, number four. <clears throat> number four. She carries a gun for protection as part of her job. Uh -huh. What does the person carry? What does the person carry? She, she carries part of her job. He, she carries what? Police officer, truck driver, or landscaper. Uh-huh. All right, so what is it? She carries a gun, right? You know the gun, right? Police officer. Yeah, it's a police officer, right? So because he, she carries, it's a lady, right? She carries a gun for protection as a part of their job. And number five. So let us try to go over it as soon as possible. Number five. The man will explain all of the historical sites on your trip. Okay, what is the guy going to do? The man will explain. Aha, uh -huh. he may be a teacher, a travel agent, or a tour guide. Hello? Hello, hello? The man will explain. So, so, you know, he will explain something. Is he a teacher, a travel agent, or a tour guide? A tour guide. A tour guide. Good. What does a tour guide do? The man will explain how the a tour guide explain all of the historical sites of a trip. Now, number six, it will be, we're almost done, right? This is number six. Number six, Maria works at a clothing store helping customers find what they need. Okay, so Maria works as a sales associate, secretary, or telemarketer. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Yeah. Let me see. I will choose people. I don't know what's happening tonight. Let me see. Uh, Sardling, what is the answer in number six? Como se dice? Sales. Sales associate? Sí. <laughs> 
Associate. Associate. Very good. Maria works at a clothing store helping customers, you know, customers find what they need. That's a sales associate. Number seven. In the number seven, we have three options. I think that's what, what we are still missing. Electrician, hotel clerk, and bus driver. We have three options. Listen carefully because we're missing only three. This is number seven, people. Number seven. He'll stop near the next light and you can get off there. He'll stop at the next light and you can get off there. Uh -huh. That's number seven, right? Electrician, hotel clerk, clerk sorry, or bus driver. Anybody in the group, please? Allison, do you Who's have the answer? Ah, Maricela, what is, what is? Who's right? A bus driver, all right? Excellent. He'll stop near the next light. And you can get off. Get off there. Bus operator or bus driver. You, you can say uh, motorista. You can say bus driver or bus uh, operator. Both are all right. Then number eight, host. Dishwasher and server. Listen to it carefully. Number eight. Number eight. The woman took my order, but the food hasn't come yet. Okay, that, that, that was quite simple. Let's see what's coming. Okay, we have host, but a dishwasher, a server. 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 Okay, the woman took my order, but the food hasn't come out yet. Server, right? The woman is, is, is the server. Number nine, taxi driver, mechanic, or sales manager. So we're missing number nine, number 10, and it will be done, people. Listen carefully. Number nine. Number nine. The man said that my car wouldn't be ready until tomorrow because he hasn't finished repairing the problem. All right. A taxi driver, a mechanic, or a sales manager? Mechanic. mechanic. Very good. Now it's getting better, right? So you see how familiar you get with the with the sound of the voice, etc. Okay, number uh, 10, this is the last. Okay, a ticket agent, a pilot, or a flight attendant. This is the last, people. Number 10, my sister enjoys working for the airlines, but traveling so much and assisting passengers all day on long flights can be tiring. All right, that's the last. And it says, a ticket agent, a pilot, or a flight attendant? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. What does the flight attendant do? Well, uh, she enjoys working for the airlines. And she, she about traveling so much and assisting passengers all the day on long flights can be tiring. Yeah, it can be, right? Okay, that's a flight attendant. Very good. So we got a 10. Now just we got it, right? Now, well, the sentences, right? Or 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 or, or the vocabulary we have here is the, the following. Last time you took notes, right? Taxi driver. Oh, let me see. This is different, right? This is this is describe what each of the ah. Uh, this is this is actually uh, one of the activities I I asked you to to perform the last time, right? What does a what does a taxi driver do? Who can tell you what does a taxi driver do? What does a taxi driver do? Qué es lo que a, qué, qué es lo que se dedica un un taxi driver un taxista? Okay, in English at first. 
uh, drive a car and get some places. <laughs> Excellent. That's what, what he usually, what he actually does, right? He drives a taxi, okay? He drives a car and gets to some places. Excellent. What about a farmer? Uh, plants food and uh, take care of animals. Plants uh, some, some uh, seeds. A water plants and take care of some animals. Good. What about a, a website designer? Design how a website will look. Designs the way a website uh, is supposed to look, right? The appearance of it, right? What about a pilot? What does a pilot do? What does a pilot do? Hello, hello. Hey, what's coming? What's what's going on tonight? Mm. What does a pilot do? Fly airplanes. Uh, okay, so. He flights airplanes, right? Hey, what about a doctor? Uh, diagnose. Diagnose. Oh, diagnose. Yeah. Um, no, <laughs> diagnose, yeah, but, but you know, you, you know the, the verb, right? Yeah. Diagnose. Diagnose. Okay. Check people's uh, health. Yeah, okay. uh, works at a hospital, right? A doctor works at a hospital, yes or no? Yes. Sometimes they no. have their own, their, not all the time, right? Sometimes they have their own, their, their own clinic. What about a nurse? Uh, they assisting. Ah, uh, they assist, the doctor, right? And, and help uh, patients. Very good. What about the journalist? Uh, go to um, be on the side of the news. <laughs> okay, so keywords uh, to provide the news. Excellent. I think this is now. This is what very good. Now, so we have like we got like a uh, seven new words, right? So, uh, right now, uh, espero que vayamos uh, uh, creando como un álbum. Vamos a empezar a crear un álbum de vocabulario, okay? Ocupaciones, profesiones. Vamos a tratar de obtener 40 por lo menos, okay? Que nos las vamos a. a Las vamos a tener ahí, las vamos a estar estudiando. Okay. Uh, well, this is what we hear, right? Esto es lo que escuchamos en el audio, mira. He really enjoys preparing food at the Italian restaurant. That's a chef. My father teaches. Okay. Si ustedes escuchan el audio nuevamente, se van a dar cuenta que la persona hace énfasis en, 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 en la E y en la S, el sonido. My father teaches. My father, como es tercera persona, eso va a sufrir un cambio en el verbo. Este es el verbo. Okay? Este es el sujeto acá. Este es el verbo. Miren, he enjoys. Tercera persona. ¿Se acuerdan de tercera persona? ¿Cuáles eran? He, she, it. My father teaches. Sujeto, el verbo. I now, I, sujeto, verbo, work. She, sujeto, carries, verbo. The man will explain. Explain is a verb. Okay. Maria is a subject. Works is a verb. He is the subject. Stop is the verb. The woman took. The woman is a subject. Took is the verb. The man said. Say it is a verb. My sister enjoys. 
my sister subject enjoys working. Okay, so as you can see, the verbs are quite important. Como pueden ver, los verbos prácticamente nos dan como el sentido a lo que queremos decir. Ahora bien, vamos a hacer... Voy a dejar de compartir esto. Now yes, right. So we're still there in the in the in the last week. We're still there, like having some some uh some review. Okay, todavía estamos con el repaso. Okay, ya vamos a iniciar con el tema de este día. De hecho, el vocabulario, si ustedes se dan cuenta, el tema de ahora es acerca de vocabulario. Okay, vocabulary practice. Okay, um, en la tarea cuatro. Creo que ya todos la realizaron. Ok. Acá tenemos que leer las oraciones y revisar si el adjetivo está correcto o está equivocado. Por ejemplo, I have, his name is Claudia. Is right or wrong? Right quiere decir correcto. Wrong, incorrecto. Wrong. Wrong. Ok, so when you say wrong, what is the right way? ¿Cómo lo corregimos? Yes. Here. Ah, okay, you say here. Here, right? You say here. Instead of saying his, we say here. Sorry, here. Okay, very good. Now, in the next one, your students are nice. Right or wrong? Wrong. Wrong. What is the right way? Uh, your student. Your student, right? So, so yours, but your student. Without this, right? Your students are nice. Simple like that. Good. Now, number three. My name, my name is Julia. Right or wrong? Wrong. 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 What is the, the correct form? My, my name. Is Julia. Uh, my is the adjective, right? My name is Julia. Very good. Number four. Our teacher is from Canada. Right or wrong? Our teacher is right. from Canada. That's all right, very good. Number five, their class is at night. Their class is at night. Wrong. Wrong? So if it is wrong, what is the correct one? Their class is, uh, no, perdon, are. So their class? Are yeah, but, but the class are, are, but what are we talking about? Hablamos de los estudiantes o hablamos de la clase? De la clase. Ah, entonces sería are o siempre nos, nos quedamos con it, is? Is. Ah, okay, so their class is at night. Very right. good. Now we're going to check it. Now you see. Number one, okay. Number two, all right. Three, four, and five. It's all right. So we did it, people. We did it. That's the way it is, right? Well, that was a, that, that was the, 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 the review. 
Ok, eso sería como parte del repaso. Ahora sí, vamos con algo diferente. Um, si yo les pregunto, por ejemplo, en español, uh, ¿cómo es una, una semana típica en su vida? Por ejemplo, si le pregunto a Jonathan, ¿cómo es su, una semana típica en su vida? En español. Um, ¿se ¿Le contesto en inglés o en español? Sí, sí, sí. En inglés creo que sería lo, 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 lo indicado, pero si sí, sí, tiene alguna dificultad, en español. Okay, Recuérdese que nos va a decir toda la semana. ¿Qué es lo que hace durante toda la semana? Mm, trabajar, nada más. <risa> that's the only way, that's the only thing you do. Hey, what time do you get up? Por ejemplo, ¿a qué hora se levanta? ¿A qué hora se despierta? ¿A qué hora se... Se levanta, a qué hora se este, toma el desayuno, el almuerzo, a qué hora regresa a casa. Five o'clock. <laughs> Every day. Every day. Yes. Okay. I put it at six o'clock. I right. go my work, on my job at six and bueno. <laughs> el resto del día. Ok. Only work. <laughs> Just work all day long and in the, in the whole week. Ok, very good. Now, but that's what we are going to start doing. Uh, this. Ok, tell me something that you always do during the week. Dígame algo que siempre hacen en la semana. Gerardo. Mande. Algo que siempre hacen en la semana. En inglés, en inglés. Le voy a dar un minuto para que busquen un, una... Una palabra o una frase, ¿ok? De algo que hacen durante la semana, que siempre lo hacen. Hay ¿Okay? un minuto, uno, dos minutos. Okay, I think you are ready, right? Gerardo, tell me the, the word that you got. Mande. Tell me the word you got. ¿Qué palabra o qué expresión aprendimos en estos dos minutos? The past material. Ah, okay, you prepare material, okay? What about you, Sarlene? Um... Monitor bank account balance. Okay, you monitor you, you monitor the account balance. Okay, Camelia. I usually make up during the morning. How do you usually make up? Uh -huh, I go in in the work. And you better work. Very good. Alan. No comprendí la indicación. Oh, oh, okay. Just an activity. Solo una actividad que usted hace durante la semana. Ya voy a regresar. Ok, Adán. Ok. Ok. Norma.
aerobics. How you do aerobics? Very good. <laughs> what about you, Maria? Um, I'm going to drop my son off to uh, kindergarten. I you take your son to the kindergarten. Good. Okay. Okay. Now, Jonathan, you already participated, right? Right. Okay, very good. Oscar. I had in the morning and three in the clock. The morning, they go to work. And you go to work. Very good. Adam, I think you're ready, right? Yes, yes. Play to piano. Are you play the piano? Every, every, every day. Now we know that the one of these days you're gonna play something for us. group, okay? It will be fantastic. So you see, I see no vamos conociendo poco a poco. Let me see. Oscar Josué. Yeah, let teacher. Have you you read okay, Maricela? Okay, um, I rest and sleep. You sleep. Okay, that's fantastic, right? To rest. <laughs> <laughs> Raquel? Raquel, Raquel? Is Raquel here? Hello, Raquel, are you there? Okay, Vera Liz. I want to play with my mom while we drink coffee. Oh, wow, that's really good, right? To have a great time with family, very good. Uh, Raquel, say hello, I cannot talk right now. Okay, okay, Raquel, I got it. Ronan? I am reading a book. Ah, you read books during the week. Great. Alison. Have a daily meeting in the job. You have daily meeting in the job. Good. Claudia Torres. I help my son do homework. You help your son to do your to do his homework. Yes. All right. Very good. Henry. Hello, teacher. Hello. I am play soccer on Fridays. You play soccer on Fridays. Good. Uh, Vidal. Hello, hola, teacher. Hello. It was Friday morning today. I must and go to work. Okay, you, you go to work. Gladys? Hello, uh, I watch movies. You watch movies, good. Uh, Mayra? Hola. Hello. Hola. Hello, hello. I visit my family. You visit your family. That's a great activity. Every week, right? Okay. No. So not not every week. All right. So but listen, uh Adam, do you want to say something? No? No, no. All right. So we share I will share this vocabulary. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go over it. We're gonna work over here a little bit with this uh, presentation. Okay. Now remember that uh, we're gonna um we work with the um, vocabulary. Okay. Remember this is the basic English course, the module number one, and we're just trying to do our best over here. Now, what about the topic? for tonight. It's about daily routines 
okay? Daily routines, the things that we usually do during the week, right? So tonight we're gonna learn or we are gonna be able to express ideas using daily routines. But in order to, in order to uh, start working with it, it's quite important to say the, 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 the days of the week, which is something quite simple. Okay, how do you pronounce this day? Sunday. 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 Very good. Sunday. Very good. Everybody, Sunday. 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 This one? Monday. 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 This one? Tuesday. 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 Yeah, Tuesday. This one? Wednesday. 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 This one? Thursday. 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 This one? Friday. 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 This one? Saturday. 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 Once again. Saturday. Okay, everybody. Once again, una vez más. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the Sunday. week. Sunday. 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 Monday. 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 Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday. All right. So one question here, and I will give you, I will give you like, let me see, like, like five minutes. Hey, what is your favorite day? Um. <laughs> What's your favorite day of the week? Now, but I will include this. Why? Okay. So in order for you to create or to in order for you to uh, answer this, you need to you need to look for or, le or let me see. I will ask. Okay. Now, what is your favorite day? Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, it's Sunday because um, descansar. Ah, uh, now how do you say descansar in English? Ah, uh, okay. So let us do something. Le voy a dar cinco minutos para que nos expliquen por qué. Me van a decir cuál es el día favorito de ustedes y nos van a decir por qué. Algunos que escucho yo entre semana dicen. Hoy es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. Pero realmente ustedes no sé qué día, qué día es el que ustedes es el favorito de ustedes. Que así que les doy que tres a cinco minutos para que se preparen, ¿ok? Elijan un día, el día favorito y por qué ustedes lo consideran el mejor día de la semana, ¿ok? Five minutes. Favorite is South Sunday because I rest in a spring white
Why can't I go? All right, I think it's it's been enough time, right? So need five people only to 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 work on oh it is. Okay, I need only five people. Necesito cinco voluntarios, nada más. Raise your hand, raise your hand. I need only five volunteers and then we will continue. Okay, very good. That's fantastic. Maria, Maria, tell us about it. <laughs> because uh, my favorite day of the week uh, is the Sunday because it is the day that I rest the most. Fantastic, because Sunday is the day I rest the most. Quite good. <laughs> I have Adan, then after Adan, Maricela, okay? Adan? My favorite day is of the week. Week is Saturday. Why? Because I attend church all days and also because I share faith with family. Great job. If you go to church and you have a great time with friends and family. Good, Adan. Okay, Maricela. My favorite day is Sunday because I rest. It's been why my family I go to church. And you go to church. Very good. Now I saw somebody else. I don't know what happened then. Maria, Maricela, no more participants, no more volunteers. Ya no hay más voluntarios. Vi alguien más por ahí. No sé si era que ver. No more volunteers. Okay, very good. Now then we're gonna we're gonna continue, right? So but hey, I share I share two links in the in the WhatsApp group so that you can see and you can practice the the, the, the days of the week, right? So it's the it's very simple, you know, to to say the names the the days of the week, but we need to put it into practice, right? So that we, we don't get confused. We say Sunday, Sunday, right? Monday, Monday. Tuesday, Tuesday. 
Wednesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Thursday. Friday, Friday. Saturday, Saturday, right? Okay, so it's quite important for you to memorize the pronunciation of the words. All right? Now we're going to go over the next. Vamos con la otra parte que son los meses del año. Now, questions about the days of the week? Now, months of the year, okay? Now, how do you say the, the first month of the year? January. January, second? February. 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 March. 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 Oh, give me one second, sir. That was my mistake. That was my mistake. Okay, March, then? April. 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 May. 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 July. July. August. 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 September. 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 October. 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 November. November. December. 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 Say December, right? So repeat after me, please. January. January. February. 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 March. March, March, April, April, April May, May, June, June, July, July, August, August, September, September, October, October, November, 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 November December. December. Now the question will be, ¿vale eso porque me va a decir cuál es el mes favorito de ustedes y me va a explicar por qué. Empiecen a trabajarlo ya, ya saben, tienen cinco minutos para aprovechar el tiempo. What's your favorite? Month of the year. Me gustaría escuchar a aquellos que, que no han participado todavía. What's your favorite month of the year and why? Okay, five minutes, five minutes, people, cinco minutos. Tengo los
Okay, I think time is enough. Time was enough. Okay, now what can you tell me about? Okay, I, I will. I will ask for volunteers once again. Okay, let me see the volunteers. Okay, very good. Tell us about it, Maricela, and after Maricela, Claudia. Okay. My favorite month is June because it's the birthday of my song, my juice bag, I mean. Fantastic, because of your, your, your this, this, the birthday of your son, right? Okay, Maricela. Claudia? My favorite month in the year is May and November. Why? Because my son's birthday. Because of your son's birthday. All right. Fantastic. Anybody else? Anybody else in the group? Okay, Jonathan, go ahead. That's the way it is, buddy. My, my favorite moment of the year is August. Why August? For for being the month of my vacation. <laughs> because of vacation <laughs> time, right? <laughs> August, right? And also April, right? In April we have the Holy Week. <laughs> and December <Yeah>. also, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah. good, Jonathan. Thank okay. you. Somebody else. Alguien más, somebody else. No one else, no one else. All right, so we're gonna continue. Okay, we're going to continue. Vamos a continuar. Sarlim, do you wanna, do you wanna participate? <laughs> Um, bueno, voy a decir lo que look. I like the month 
of December because that's when we were together with my family, especially okay. at Christmas. Christmas time. Exactly, right? That's a, a really nice moment of the year, right? I really like December also. Good. Good, Sarlene. Anybody else? No one else? No, oh, yes, right. So I will continue then. Okay. Now, let's go over the next part. Hey, uh, I share also some information that we're going to discuss later, right? And we have some, some daily routines at home, right? So, <clears> oh, <throat> right here we have Kate up, right? Kate up. So, do we have to repeat at home? Get up. Get up. Get up. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Take a shower. Take a shower. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Comb my hair. Comb my hair. Comb my hair. Comb my hair. Shave. Shave. Put on makeup. Put on makeup. Put on makeup. Put on makeup. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Come home. Come home. Make dinner. Make dinner. Study. 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 Watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Go to bed. Now I need to clarify something on here about some verbs. Now, for example, on here say study. Study. Es bien importante que ustedes pronuncien lo más parecido posible que los norteamericanos o los hablantes nativos de inglés. Si acá empieza con una S y no tenemos una E acá, entonces la E no hay que pronunciarla. Muchos dicen eh, study. No, pero si no dice ahí. ahí. dice study. Si ustedes se fijan, iniciamos con el sonido. ¿verdad? Study, study. Si yo digo esta palabra, ¿cómo debería de sonar? School. School. Excelente. Miren. Hay... <coughs> Algunas veces las personas que empiezan con, con, con ese tipo de, de vocabulario le van incluyendo una E que no existe. Entonces, no la pongamos, sino que hagamos el sonido. School, school. Si hacemos el sonido de la, de la, de la, de la palabra al inicio, pues vamos a sonar mucho que mejor. ¿verdad? No es lo mismo decir e school que school. ¿Ok? Otra cosa, para que nos vayamos fijando en detallitos que nos van a servir al final. Uh, ejemplo acá. Por aquí tenemos este y por aquí tenemos este. Uh, shower. Shower. Este sonido. Este sonido. Y ese sonido son diferentes. What? Este y este son diferentes. ¿Por qué se los digo? Porque si yo digo, por ejemplo, wash. Si yo, I wash TV. Ah, yo lavo la televisión. A ver, a ver, a ver quién este. Yo creo que así se arruinan, ¿verdad? I wash TV. Ok, eso que sea un lavado en seco, pero... Pues, pues usualmente no lavamos los televisores, ¿verdad? Eh, I wash, ah, uh ah, -uh. I wash TV, no, no, no. El verbo es watch. All right? Sí. Watch. Entonces, en inglés, cada sonido importa, porque muchas veces nos podemos equivocar con, con alguna palabra. ¿Ok? Watch. Watch. Uh, Ajá, so, vamos a tratar de repetir. So, es vocabulario básico, pero estoy tratando de que ustedes se lleven lo mejor uh, como, como puntos claves, ¿verdad? Para cuando se muevan a, al siguiente nivel. Eh, get up. Get up. Get up. 
Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Más adelante, ya por intermedio, creo que va a ser, sí. ¿no? En un nivel por ahí van a encontrar los verbos en pasado. Y van a ver otro tipo de pronunciación. No. Eh, en el... Pero en, en este caso se pronuncia get dressed. Get dressed. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Brush my teeth. Brush, Brush my teeth. My teeth. Okay, this is something that I want, want you to notice. Okay. okay. Si yo digo brush my teeth. Brush. Eh, no, no es esa la pronunciación. Esto va a sonar como una A, ah, pero súper rápido. Brush. 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 Brush my teeth. Brush, Brush, Brush my teeth. teeth. ¿Se acuerdan cuando decíamos doctor? Doctor. Yeah. Que la O suena como A. Uh -huh. La O en ese caso suena como A. Aquí sí suena como O, miren. Doctor. Doctor. Va. Pero esta A es como mejor pronunciado o no mejor pronunciado, sino más clara como A. Doctor. Pero acá, si ustedes se fijan, brush. brush. El sonido es diferente. Brush. Sin embargo, es como una súper, súper ligera. Brush, brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. I brush, brush my teeth. Brush. 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 Doctor. Doctor. Okay. Come on here. Come on here. Shave. Shave. Put on makeup. Put on makeup. Put on makeup. Put on makeup. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Come home. Come home. home. Make dinner. Make dinner. Study. 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 Ah, por ahí me están poniendo la E algunos. <laughs> Otra vez. Study. 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 Ah, ahora sí suena bien. Le vamos a quitar esto porque no lo lleva. Study. Study. Watch TV. Watch TV. Ah, por ahí me están lavando el, 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 el televisor todavía. Watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Por ahí quiero ver quién es que está lavando el televisor. Bueno, vamos a preguntarle uno por uno. ¿Saben qué? Le voy a preguntar a cinco que me digan el, todo el vocabulario para, para, para ver cómo estamos aquí. Espérense. Vera Liz, go ahead, please. Get up. Take a shower, brush my teeth, comb my hair, shave, come home, make dinner, study. Okay. Uh, give me one second, please. <clears throat> this is study. Study. Hagan así, imagínense que es como una, como una llanta pinchada. Study. Primero exagerémoslo para que eso se vaya quedando en la, en, la, en la mente, en nuestro hábito. Y lo vamos a lograr. Study, study, study. Watch TV. All right. Encoded bed. Very good. Let's see. Ronan. Espera. Ronan, are you there? Get, get up. Uh, say, get up. Get up. Get dressed. Say a shower. I will say shower or a shower. 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 Take a sh shower. 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 Now, in order for you to understand this sound, este sonido no lo tenemos en español, por eso, por eso es que me gusta detenerme un poquito para explicarlo, miren. Porque en español es bien sencillo, pero decimos, ¿cómo decimos? ¿Decimos hacha o decimos hacha? Hacha. Ah, entonces el sonido de, ch, de hacha es este. 
Y el único sonido en donde yo encuentro en español es, esto es, pues decimos, chuco. Todos somos salvadoreños, ¿verdad? <risa> ah, <risa> ahí es el único lugar donde yo he encontrado el sonido chuco. Chuco. El sonido ch. Si no decimos chuco, chuco ya, ya en, en buen salvadoreño es alguien que, 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 que no es aseado, ¿verdad? Con, con este chuco. Pero chuco ya sabemos que es el atol. ¿Ok? Now, let's see. Once again. Let us try. Vamos a, vamos a continuar. ¿Ok? Vaya. Sigamos. Take a shower. Take a shower. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. Con my hair. Con my hair. Hair. Shower. Shave. Uh, put on my makeup. Put on makeup. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Come home. Come home. My, my dog. <coughs> Make dinner. Study. Study. Watch TV. Uh, watch TV. Watch TV. Uh, the problem so, is over here. Listen, listen. La, el problema es que, digamos, veamos, ¿cómo, cómo les explico con este? Uh, watch. Si, si escuchan ahí como una pequeña explosión. Uh, watch. Watch. En cambio, el otro no. El otro... Brush, brush. No hay explosión. <risa> Esa es la pequeña diferencia. Y el último. Go to be. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Very good. Quiet good. Let me see. Number three. Norma. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, get up. Say, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Ah, okay. Get so, it. give me one second, please. Usamos la G al inicio. Get. Get. Get up. Get, excellent. Get up. Get dressed. Get dressed. Take a shower. Take a what? Take a shower. 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 Yeah. Take a shower. Shower. Sh shower. Brush. Shower. Good. Brush my teeth. Good. Comb my hair. Excellent. Shave. They say shave. Shave. No, no. Shave. Shave. If you say chef, is the one that you're using here. Si, si you say chef, chef, no. Okay. Shave, shave. Shave. Yeah. Put on maker. Put on makeup. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Come home. Come home. Make dinner. Make dinner. Study. Good. Watch TV. Watch TV. Go to, go to bed. Go to bed. Fantastic. Now it's getting better, right? So we are uh, we are practicing. And I think there's a time for the last person. Vamos con alguien más. La última persona que nos va a ayudar con la pronunciación. Let me see. Okay, Henry. Hi, teacher. Hi, Henry. Hey, get up. Get up. Get dresses. Get dressed. Get dressed. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Brush me. Brush me teeth. My. My teeth. My teeth. <clears throat> Uh -huh. Comb my hair. Comb my hair. Shave. Shave. 
Grok Grok Mac Macau. Put on makeup. If you say makeup. put on, put on, it's like put a big makeup. puro, right? Como un gran put puro, put on. <laughs> put on makeup. Put on makeup. Eat a breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Come home. Come home. Make dinner. Make a dinner. Study. 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 Watch yeah. TV. Watch TV. Good. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Good. Ya ven, haciendo o invirtiendo un poquito de tiempo, tenemos detalles, ¿ok? Detalles que al final suman, suman y son de, de vital importancia cuando nosotros hablamos. Now, we have three time routines. Ok, listen and repeat. Exercise. Listen and Exercise. repeat, please. Exercise. 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 Listen to music. Listen to music. Play football. Play football. Go out for dinner. Go out for dinner. Go dancing. Go dancing. Go dancing. Take a nap. They can up. They can up. Read. 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 Check media. Check media. media. Go to the movies. Go to the, the movies. movies. Visit friends. Visit friends. Okay, second time and then we're going to move on. Exercise. 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 Listen to music. Listen to music. Play football. Play football. Go out for dinner. Go out for dinner. Go dancing. Good. Take a nap. Take a nap. Read. Read. Check media. Check, Check media. media. Go to the movies. Go to the movies. Visit friends. Visit friends. friends. All right. So extra info, right? So extra info, extra vocabulary. De hecho, pues apenas empezamos y, y vamos adquiriendo vocabulario. Okay. Now, household chores and routines. Estas son actividades en el hogar. Household chores and routines. Household chores. Household chores, chores and routines. Now, wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. Que no lo vayan a estar viendo nada más, ¿verdad? Porque watch, ya saben que Eva. Aquí no, ahora sí, ahora sí. No se confunda porque allá algunos estaban lavando el tele y aquí nada más los están viendo los trajes sucios. No, no hay que solo verlos, hay que lavarlos. Ok, veamos. Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. Hoy oh, sí, hoy oh, sí. Clean the house. Clean the house. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Take out the garbage. Take out of the garbage. Go shopping. Go shopping. Dust. Dust. Sweep. 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 Mop. 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 Okay, now let's see. Quiero ver. Vamos a ver quiénes son los que hacen actividades en el hogar. Ahí me levantan la mano. Yo voy a ir viendo. Voy a ir repitiendo y me van levantando la mano. Okay. El que no levante. Quiere decir que no hace las actividades en la casa. Veamos. Aquí lo vamos a ver quién es. Sin mentir, ¿verdad? Ok. Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. Quiero ver quién, quiero ver quién es. Ya vamos a ver quién es. Ups. Quiero ver quién, quiénes son los que ayudan en casa. Ok. Very good. Aquí me parece que casi todo. Ok. Clean the house. Clean the house. Veamos quiénes son los que ayudan ahí. Clean the house. Porque está dividido. Está dividido en dos. Hay, hay 13 personas que sí. Ayuda. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Ok, ahí bajó. Ahí llegó a 10. Ahí tiene 9. Do the laundry. Está bueno. 8. Uh, take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. 
ocho ayudan en, en sacar la basura. Go oh. shopping. Go shopping. Ahí sí les gusta a varios irse a las compras. Go shopping. Ok. Dust. 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 Ah, Dust, acudir. Como nombre significa polvo. Ah, y eso es otra cosa que, que, que quiero que vayan este, comprendiendo un poco. Puede ser un nombre o puede ser un verbo. En este caso es un verbo. ¿Ok? Sacudir. Ya. Yeah. Sweep. Sweep. En el agua, mop. 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 Ok. Okay, very good. Now that we have household chores, people. Very good. Now, very good. You know, uh, you are getting ready in order to to prepare something, right? Uh, well, more time expressions. We have every day. Do me the favor to repeat, please. Every day. Every day. Every day. Once a day. Once a day. Twice a week. Three times a month. Three times a month. On Saturdays. On Saturday. Once a day. Once a day. Once a month. Once a month. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every weekend. Every weekend. Now once again. Every day. Every day. Once a day. Once a day. Once, once. Once, once. Twice a week. Twice a week. Three times a month. Three times a month. On Saturdays. On Saturday. Once a day. Once a day. Once a month. Once a month. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every week. Now, every day, you know, every day is todos los días. Once a day. De vez en cuando. No, once a day es una vez al día. Una vez al día. Ah. Twice a week. <coughs> Dos veces a la semana. Ah, ok. Creo que yo. ¿Será que yo tengo problemas con mi micrófono? ¿O hay alguien más que tiene sentido y que nos está creando eco? Espérate. Voy a apagar mi micrófono, a ver si es el mío. ¿Se oye el eco siempre? No. No, no ok, creo que sí era el mío. Vean. Sí era el mío, vean. Every day, todos los días, once a day. Sí, sí, es el una mío. vez al día. Twice a week, dos veces a la semana. Oh. Three times a month. Tres, Tres veces, veces al mes. Los sábados son Saturdays. Vamos a probar algo, ch eh, chicos. Cerremos todos el micrófono. Quiero ver si es mi micrófono el que está fallando. Vaya, este, veamos. On Saturdays, once a day, once a month. Every Sunday, every weekend. No. ¿Se oye el eco? No. Sí hay eco, dice Vidal. No. Bueno, ok. Once, otra vez. Every day, once a day, twice a week, three times a month. On Saturdays, once a day, once a month. Every Sunday, every weekend. ¿Se oye el eco? No. Allá no, dice Vidal. No. Ok. No. Ok, so, entonces chequeamos, a lo mejor alguno de nosotros tiene alguna dificultad con el, con el micrófono y es, estemos pendientes, ok? Estemos pendientes, ok? Let me see. Ok, now this is the information we started at the beginning. Si ustedes se fijan, este es el, 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 uh, algo del vocabulario que vimos al inicio, que es el software engineer. Design and develop different softwares. A bookkeeper keep track of the financial accounts of, of companies. A human resources specialist 
someone who knows the policies and regulations involved mm -hmm. in the management of employees. Insurance agents help people and companies against financial loss and, and manage risk. Financial analysts help people and businesses manage their finances. Digital marketing manager create and advertise the company over the social media. Okay, what are we gonna do, people? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a, a empezar a trabajar? Uh, pues, les va a quedar de tarea <coughs> que trabajen este, en, en una semana. ¿Qué es lo que hacen durante la semana ustedes? ¿Ok? ¿Qué es lo que hacen? O sea, regularmente. Es, ahí hay mucho vocabulario. Pues alguien podría decir, bueno, Ticho, yo solo, yo solo voy a la escuela. Ok, pero para ir a la escuela hay, hay, hay algo previo. Se despierta, uh, se cepilla, se toma un baño, eh, se cambia, eh, toma el desayuno, uh, prepara el vehículo o, eh, o va y espera el bus. O sea, hay, hay mucha, mucha, mucho vocabulario ahí. Entonces... Um, quiero que por favor preparen esa, esa, esa presentación, ¿ok? De qué es lo que ustedes hacen durante la semana, ¿verdad? Eso sería para mañana. Eso sería para mañana, ¿ok? Sería para mañana y pues para, para este momento, pues quiero que empiecen a trabajar en un, en un álbum. En un álbum que es... Que, que busquen ahorita vocabulario acerca de ocupaciones eh, y profesiones, ¿ok? Y que me detallen qué es lo que ellos hacen, justo así como está acá, ¿ok? Justo como está acá. Por supuesto, para su presentación eh, van a ocupar el vocabulario que hemos visto, ¿no? Se dice software engineer, ok. Ahí van a encontrar qué es lo que hace esa persona. Pueden ser profesiones, pueden ser ocupaciones también. ¿En ¿Cuánto tiempo vamos a, a dedicar para eso? Vamos a dedicarle 5, 10, 15 minutos para que trabajen en su álbum, ok. 15 minutos y ya cuando pasen esos 15 minutos. Vamos a tomarnos eh, cinco minutos para que una o dos personas eh, nos, nos presenten qué es lo que encontraron, pronunciación, vocabulario, etc. Tal vez algún ejemplo. Sería bueno que buscaran algún ejemplo de una oración. ¿Estamos claros? Sí. Yes. Trabajenlo en... Miren, pueden trabajarlo en Word, pueden trabajar una PowerPoint Presentation... Y yo con gusto les doy el espacio para que la, que la presenten acá. ¿Ok? Ok, tienen 15 minutos. En todo eso voy a chequear la, la, la lista. Ok, ahorita no lo voy a mencionar, lo voy a mencionar hasta el final. Pero sí voy a estar chequeando listo.
Remember the purpose of, for tonight is to gain vocabulary. Recuérdense que el, el, el objetivo de esta noche es ganar vocabulario. Empezar a ganar vocabulario. Pronunciación y significado de palabras. All right, so now I think uh, we can have some time to share some vocabulary, right? No se preocupen si no lo terminan ahora. Acuérdense que es un trabajo que nada más estamos tratando de iniciarlo. Son, vamos a ponernos como meta 40 ocupaciones, entre ocupaciones y profesiones. Ok, pero sí me interesa saber que, cómo van, cómo han empezado el, el álbum, ¿verdad? A modo que cuando terminen, digamos, el, el nivel básico, ya ustedes manejen pues, un buen número de palabras en inglés. No sé si alguien quiere participar. De los que ya adelantaron. Okay, let's listen to Gladys. Gladys. Santiago Alvarado, are you there? Santiago, Santiago Alvarado. Well, I think you, you need like a couple of minutes more, right? Creo que sí van a necesitar un poquito más de tiempo, pero quiero que se mantengan este, pensando en esa actividad. Ya tienen prácticamente dos tareas para la semana. Una, crear el álbum de las ocupaciones y las profesiones. Incluyanle, por favor, este, imágenes, ¿ok? Para que, pues, eh, lo tengamos ahí para estudiar, right? Solo vamos a dejar pendiente y también vamos a dejar pendiente el typical week. What's your typical week like? ¿Cómo es tu semana? Una semana típica en tu vida. Y eso es para el día de mañana. Now, I will check the list of attendance. Voy a, voy a chequear aquí la, la lista porque necesito verificar algo. Adán. Present, teacher. All right. Alison? Aquí estoy. All right. Andrea Raquel? Camelia? Sí, presente. Okay. Okay, Raquel. Camelia? Present. Present. 
que Dina Maribel, Gerardo Emanuel, present, Gilberto, Gladys Rubiria, present teacher, Héctor Salvador, oh sorry Héctor, I know, I'm sorry, eh, Henry Ernesto, present teacher, Isabel, present, Jonathan Josué, present teacher, Mayra Norabel, present, María Elba. Present teacher. Marisela. Present. Miguel Ángel. Hello, Miguel Ángel, are you there? Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Oscar Josué. Present teacher. Ronald. Present teacher. Santiago. Out here. Uh, Santiago is over here, right? So Santiago. All right, now yes. Veraliz. Present. Vidal. Present teacher. And Claudia. Claudia Veronica, right? Okay. Listen. Pretty good. Now it's still like seven or eight minutes, and you know, ya saben que los últimos minutos es para que pues, podamos dialogar, podamos este, ver eh, avances o algunas observaciones que nos ayuden a mejorar, ¿verdad? Como grupo, como docente, para que pues aprovechemos mejor el tiempo o, o quizás por ahí pues este nos está faltando algo como cómo lo visualizan ustedes verdad porque yo pues um, estoy compartiendo enlaces en el grupo estoy trabajando ejercicios acá eh, les, les he compartido también ejercicios para que ustedes lo hagan en casa con toda la comodidad del, del, del mundo respecto al tiempo pues ustedes sabrán cómo lo manejan en el día porque yo sé que todos ustedes son personas ocupadas eh, pues est estoy tratando de hacer pues lo mejor que pueda pero seguramente que haya observaciones, hay algo que podemos mejorar, siempre hay algo que podamos mejorar ahora todavía les estoy hablando español, no sé si pues se sienten cómodos así o pues le entramos ya full English estoy ocupando que un 10% de la clase en español digamos ¿Cómo se han sentido? ¿Sienten que hay avances? ¿Se han hecho una autoevaluación? Ya tenemos prácticamente, esa, esa es nuestra segunda semana. ¿Tienen eh, por delante una, una evaluación? Espero que la realicen este, con mucho eh, ánimo y con todas las... A modo de sacarse pues, un puntaje excelente. Eh, pues los felicito realmente porque la, la asistencia es muy buena ok eh, yo sé que algunos se integran un poquito después de las 8 y comprendo porque pues sé que algunos vienen de regreso de sus trabajos pero también al mismo tiempo los felicito porque pues no es mucho tiempo en realidad la que, la que es y también hay algunos que se conectan antes de la clase también eso es aplaudible ok es aplaudible que estén antes de la clase. Son algunas de las observaciones que, que yo eh, veo de, respecto a, a la actitud, ¿verdad? Ya respecto a la clase en sí, en el aprendizaje del idioma, eh, necesito que, que siempre repasen los, los enlaces, ¿verdad? Y recuérdense que los enlaces ahí están hablantes nativos eh, y, y no hay nada mejor que un hablante nativo. Que yo no soy un hablante nativo, yo tengo alrededor de 20 años de estar estudiando esto, pero no soy nativo. Entonces, pero sí, 
en los enlaces que yo comparto, allí sí aparecen personas nativas. Entonces, qué mejor que ese recurso. Mientras más estemos en contacto con, un, um, con alguien que habla inglés y que sea nativo, es mejor. ¿Vidal? ¿Vidal quiere decir algo? ¿O Ronan? Eh, eh, no, tal vez en la pronunciación es que me está costando un poco a mí, teacher, pero eh, vamos a trabajar eso pues, para poder expresarme mejor. Ok, fíjense que eso, eso está bien la observación y que se estén autoevaluando. Pues cada noche sería bueno que se autoevaluaran. Bueno, ¿y ahora qué me llevo de esta sesión? ¿Y ahora qué aprendí de esta sesión? Um, lo que dice este Ronan es, es muy bueno. Acuérdense que la capacidad todos la tenemos, ¿verdad? E inclusive este solo es un idioma. Hay personas que se aprenden hasta que ocho, diez idiomas, ¿verdad? Y pues todos somos capaces. El problema es que cuando ya somos adultos el tiempo ya es menos. Ya no podemos invertir mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? En aprender tantos idiomas. Pero en realidad somos como... Cuando ustedes, si ustedes se fijan, los niños, los bebés, cuando uno les habla, ellos seguramente que no, no vienen con, con el CD o con, o con la memoria que ya vienen programados con el español, ¿verdad? Sino que... Ellos oyen sonidos, ellos miran gestos, pero ellos en realidad no saben español. Pero a través del tiempo es que ellos aprenden español. Si, si cualquier bebé, donde usted lo ponga, en cualquier país del mundo, ese bebé va a aprender el idioma en donde, donde él crece. ¿Por qué? Porque todos tenemos esa capacidad. ¿verdad? Entonces, así estamos nosotros. Prácticamente estamos en esa fase de de empezar a escuchar un segundo idioma, de empezar a expresarnos en un segundo idioma y no tiene nada de malo si lo hago lento o de manera un poquito más natural. O sea, estamos empezando un proceso. Okay. Lo importante que yo les dije la semana pasada es la motivación. Si tenemos motivación, tenemos todo ganado hasta el avanzado, hasta donde, hasta donde nos lleve el, el programa. Ok, entonces, pues eso es lo que yo, yo he observado. No sé si ustedes tienen alguna sugerencia para los compañeros, para el teacher. Pues que bienvenido, la verdad. Eh, apenas inician el, el nivel básico. Van a estar juntos mucho tiempo. Es bueno que empiecen a expresarse, a, a sentirse cómodos en el grupo. Más cómodos, porque sí veo que están cómodos, pero, pero me gustaría que interactuáramos más. Por ahí alguien en el chat dice, ok, mira. Ok, si no hay este, comentarios, pues nos quedamos hasta acá y nos vemos mañana. All right. So let's see tomorrow, people. It's been a pleasure for me to see you again. Let's see tomorrow, ok? Good night. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. 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 Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.